Hey guys, here is another video from Prime Side, and in this video, I'll be making my favorite face cream. I call this my favorite, and I'll tell you the reason as we move on. However, here's the recipe. First, I have my organic grapeseed oil. This oil is non comedogenic, and that means any skin type can use this. And then I'm going in with my Olivium 1000. I will display the list of the ingredients I'm using and their measurements as you watch this video, so just keep watching. And then I have my e wax, and I'll be lastly going in with my Cetiril Aqua Oil, and this is my oil face. Also in my oil phase, I'll be adding sepi white powder as part of my active ingredient and since it's oil soluble and also can resist high heat, I decided to add it into this so that it can dissolve alongside with the oil phase. I'll simply cover it and get it ready for double boiling. Meanwhile, sepi white is a very very active ingredient that helps in lightening without or reduce side effect. Then I'm going to prepare my water phase, here I have my distilled water and then I'm going to go in with my alantoin powder. Alantoin powder is very good for soothing and for moisturizing. It also helps to uh, get rid of fine lines and help with anti-aging. I'm going to stir alantoin because it's really really hard to dissolve so I'll just keep stirring until I have it fully dissolved in my water. However, you can also make this hot to help alantoin dissolve faster. I want you to pay full attention to how I mixed my active ingredient here and not just hurry to get a list of the uh, ingredients and measurements so you can see why the active ingredient I used were really effective. So my lantern powder is fully dissolved. Make sure it's fully dissolved so that your cream doesn't have great tools in it. After this, I'm going to take out some water to dissolve um, my remaining active ingredient this is alpha butane i do not want to heat my alpha butane i do not want to heat it so i'm just going to take out some water to dissolve it separately so this is why i said pay full attention to how i dissolve my active ingredient in order to make your face cream very effective okay so alpha butane is a lightning active um which is very very great in moisturizers i rather use this in moisturizers than to use this in rinse of product because it actually helps to fade hyperpigmentation help to um, even out the skin tone help to fade spots and help alpha butane literally lightens the skin with continuous use for a long time okay so here is the um remaining water and i'm going to be adding my vegetable glycerin into this water vegetable um, glycerin in this recipe is to help the cream to hydrate while it moisturizes because of the other ingredients okay so here's my dissolved alpha butane and then the oil phase and so while i get this ready for heating i'm just gonna add my other ingredient here my snow white powder and snow white would want to be dissolved in heat so i'm adding it into this um water phase so that it can go alongside into the double boiler snow white powder here is a lightning active that is very very effective and its major job is to lighten the skin so if you have um, your face darker than the rest of your body the snow white is going to help uh, lighten up your face back so that it matches the rest of your body so i'm just going to cover this up and then take the water face and the oil face alone down to the double boiler i'm going to leave the other one because i do not want it to be heated however i'm also going to be adding my half hydroxyl acid into this and here i'm going to be using my glycolic acid powder so i'm adding some glycolic acid powder into this and i'm going to dissolve it until it is fully dissolved so my glycolic acid which is an aha here serves as a mild exfoliator so that it helps to exfoliate my skin while i use the face cream and it helps the face cream to be quite effective and yes it worked that way and here my water phase and my oil phase are ready and then i'm just going to get my stick blender ready i get a bigger container so that i mix this up 
for easy um, blending so i'm gonna mix both phases together and then i'd come right with my stick blender and blend them until they are thick and creamy now here is why i call this face cream my favorite ordinarily when i make my diy product and i try them on i'm not always patient maybe to finish it up probably maybe i'll make another one and just want to switch but when i made this product and I, I was actually traveling when i made this product so i decided to to make a quick face cream before i travel so that i don't get to buy another cream because i did bought another face cream one time i traveled and i couldn't get hold of my own product and so it gave me some kind of spots on my face and some kind of um, scars so i decided to make a quick cream before i travel so that's why i made this cream and funny enough i also didn't travel with my body cream so i had to use this face cream for my face and my body after four weeks i was amazed because i was really stressed at the time i made this cream and i already went very dark i wasn't even using any body product at that time but after this cream um i my skin revived i got my face back i got my body back and my god i was really amazed with this cream i trust me I know a lot of people are tired of watching my videos because I'm not mixing tubes together to get um, a glowy cream or um, get it for four shades light and my recipes are really slow to work but trust me when you use them and you're consistent with them you don't have any regrets this cream was wonderful trust me now we already got a thick consistency of our cream i'm going to go ahead to add my alpha butene and a glycolic acid that was already mixed with cold water here and make sure that your um temperature is um really low at least about 45 to 40 degrees celsius so that your alpha butene and glycolic acid still is intact and um, effective if you have watched up to this point i hope you have subscribed to this channel and i hope you give this video a thumb up i'm trying my best to make sure that you're having healthy recipes on this channel so stay tuned and also note that some our products are at the risk of not being effective because we might not be getting our hands on original ingredient and that takes us to the fact that we actually supply raw ingredients um raw materials across the country and outside the country as well so you can do well to see the description the link in the description box if you want to place others for your raw cosmetic ingredients and active ingredients so furthermore i'm going to be adding my antioxidant here i use my tocopherol mt oil my, that is my vitamin e oil and then i'll go ahead to add my preservative i use Jumo plus preservative here and then lastly i'm going to be adding my essential oil i use rosehip essential oil here i love rosehip so much nevertheless and then I didn't add any fragrance to this recipe because i want to use this recipe for my face and i dread fragrance a lot for my face um, care however i do add in some but not all so you can go ahead to add yours if you would want it to smell really nice and so here's a cream and i love the consistency i love the texture i love everything about this cream so i'll go ahead to check the ph of the cream and make sure that we have it in the right ph before we bottle it up so here i'm having a smaller beaker and i'm taking a very little portion of the cream i'm adding some distilled water in this to make it um, watery enough to check the ph now checking with my ph strip and matching it against the ph paper the ph of this cream lies between three and four and i'm totally right with it i know the ph of our skin lies between 4 5 4.5 to 7 but this cream is going to be effective in this ph because of all the active ingredients used glycolic acid alpha butene snow white they all will be effective within the range of this ph and that's what matters a lot so um that's that for our face cream and i'll just go ahead to give this a final mix and then i bottle this up like i said earlier in this video in four weeks i started noticing the effect of the cream 
so you don't have to be in a hurry. It brightened the face in 4 weeks and it cleared spots in 6 weeks. It also cleared stretch marks after a long period of use. So I decided to use this cream the whole cup before I shared this video. The cream was very moisturizing and it absorbed into the skin as quickly as possible. See it from this video, even for the much that I added in one spot, it absorbed deep into the skin and it was really moisturizing. So if this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to this channel. I would definitely love to see you in another video of mine on this channel. But for now, take care and bye.